Hello everyone, welcome to Starfield. This is my very first video in Starfield after my first day of playing it. This is meant to be a spoiler-free video where I give my thoughts, so I've tried to cut out as much as possible that might be spoilerish. And this is all fairly basic as far as what I'm going to present, but I do have some thoughts about how it went. I did not get a review copy. I paid for the game regularly, so I didn't have it well in advance uh, so that I could give further thoughts, but I do have some thoughts. And the first thing is that gameplay was very smooth and also character creation was very thorough. So I spent a lot of time on character creation and we do have these uh, starting backgrounds that give you starting skills and in addition to selecting file not found there because I was intrigued, I'm, I wanted piloting above anything else, uh, but we also have these traits that uh, turned out to be very useful as a matter of fact. I did get specific dialogue options based on those backgrounds and I also used persuasion to get myself in out of situations twice, I can tell you that much. Space combat is fairly basic. It's more or less like Star Wars Battlefront 2 or something like that. So with the mouse you just uh, point and shoot and uh, it's still fun. I mean, uh, it's not the most complicated space combat. But it's more or less what you would expect. I don't think anybody is going into this expecting anything too different from what we've got here. And the whole business of being able to redistribute energy between your lasers and all that stuff and the other systems like your shields and engines is a nice touch and of course uh, been done before and, but implemented fairly well. Uh, roaming around the planets was good. I mean, uh, you may have heard that we have limitations. We can't just walk around the entire planet. I wasn't intending to, uh, so not a huge deal for me, though it does limit certain mod capabilities, like if you wanted to have planes around planets, but uh, this was... I was looking more for a freelancerish kind of thing, uh, talk about older space games, maybe a Mass Effect kind of thing, and so this is already going past that. I took a ridiculous amount of time to figure out the lock picking. It was an embarrassing amount of time to figure out the lock picking, to be honest, but I eventually did figure it out, and now I get it. Okay, uh, so yeah. And in general, as far as conveying the vastness of space, I wouldn't say that the game conveys the vastness of space in the same way that Elite Dangerous or uh, anything like that, or No Man's Sky would. It's probably a good thing though, because it has a lot of momentum. The game really doesn't waste your time. There's obviously no travel time. It's instantaneous from point to point. You're not spending your time traveling from one place to another. Uh, so if you're wondering about that, no. I mean, this is not that kind of game. But because of that, I felt that there was always stuff to do. I was always busy. And so I wasn't just staring at the screen not doing anything at any given time. And so I thought that was good and more similar to the normal Bethesda experience. As far as bugs, there was this bug where I constantly was looking left for some reason after I took off my helmet. That was a little bit weird, but it stopped eventually. Uh, this is as I was walking into a shop in New Atlantis, the main city. You get there immediately, basically. There was also this bug where this guy was standing in midair. That was special. And that was it. Those were the only bugs that I found. The looking to the left and the guy standing in midair. That was about it. Uh, the inventory menu is annoying and I sort of expected that too because in Oblivion, in Skyrim, in Fallout, in every single one I've used mods to adjust the inventory system. <laughs> I mean, uh, so yeah, once again I'll be looking for a mod to change the inventory system probably. Uh, the display is just, it's too spaced out. I want the numbers a little bit neater and be able to compare things a little bit better. Um, it has a lot of interesting touches, uh, like these chunks. Uh, the music is too loud and the voices are often too soft. Uh, that's one thing. I couldn't really balance it out exactly the way I wanted to. Uh, I played it during a live stream and I had headphones on. And maybe it was better, it'd be better for people with the PC speakers instead of headphones, but yeah, the sound balance was just a little bit off. So what you see is the performance on an i5 12600K RTX 2070 graphics card at 1080p, but I'm producing the video at 30 frames per second, so it's not going to show you 60 because I'm producing the video at 30. So. 
uh, altogether, I didn't have any problems at all. And I set it to high settings initially, but I ultimately set it to ultra because I felt that high settings were doing perfectly smoothly. So I set it all to the highest level possible uh, with my RTX 2070. Uh, if you are using a 4K monitor, that's a whole different story. The 1080p was what I was using. I have not touched the shipbuilding system, the base building system, or the research system, which is what you see here at all so far. I looked at this, but I didn't have the resources to do anything with it. And it's clear that there's a lot of depth and things that will take us time uh, to get around to. But it was a busy time in my first day in Starfield. I never had nothing to do, and uh, I felt that I could deviate away from the plot if I wanted to, but mostly I was playing the plot. Uh, so I haven't shown you most of that stuff, but yeah. It was pretty satisfying and fun, and we'll see what else I have to discover in my further gameplay. But I'll leave it at that and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.